Hey folks, this is Saurav here from TechYard and welcome back to our channel and today I will be installing the latest build of this Linux OS on my Redmi 3S Prime or if you are using a Redmi 3S only then it will work just the same. Well, I uh, am currently on the 10th January build and today I will be installing the 15th January build. One more thing guys, this ROM does is pre-rooted and does support uh, exposed and one more thing, there is an issue with the fingerprint sen sensor, I will talk about that in a later on. And all the relevant links will be in the description so make sure you please check the description section thoroughly so first of all we have to go to the twrp and then wipe out these four things dalvik system data and cache so swipe to wipe it's gonna take a bit of your time so don't get nervous then coming back from here and then we have to install the file so there are a lot of files actually in here but i will be installing the lineage os uh, 15 january build and afterwards uh, you can see uh, it's an, still an unofficial build and then we have to install the G app separately so yeah it's gonna be, take a bit of our time so I just cut down all those things and I'm sorry for my voice being too low and uh, well uh, the wiping Dalvik cache is also been done now we have to flash the open G apps ARM64 version 6.0 and we, I'm using the Pico edition and guys uh, do uh, like our Facebook page for all the battery stats that we are gonna post very soon and yes uh, for the hindi version if you are waiting for the hindi version that link will be in the description as well make sure you check that so we have to reboot and then wait for a few minutes or so so here it is we are in the welcome screen of the cyanogen mod and uh, well it does support Wi-Fi, no issues with that. So I just did something wrong with the Wi-Fi right at the moment, forgot to type the right password. So here is the I'm checking the Geo 4G as my cellular data and then move on. So well fingerprint, like I was saying. The problem with the fingerprint is that uh there are two types of fingerprint sensors that comes with Redmi 3S Prime. One is from Goodix, one is from FPC. Well, I'm currently having a Goodies fingerprint sensor. Well, you can see the enrollment was not valid. Yes, for a uh, Goodix fingerprint sensors, uh, the fingerprint scanner is not working. But for uh, FPC fingerprint sensors, the scanner working perfectly. And uh, the ROM developers, that is uh, Ranjan and others, thanks to them especially. Well, they said that it is a bug and they're working on it. So it's a 15 January build and I'm typing, I'm, I'm tapping on the build number for quite a long time and then I'm I've developed I'm actually opened the developer option well uh, guys I will be showing you the memory management we get around 2 gigs of RAM free on the very first boot so that's something good I would say out of 3 gigs we get around 2 gigs free giving us a ample amount of RAMs in our hand well uh, all the necessary things are here let me again show you whether the fingerprint uh, scanner works or not it actually not working in uh, here but i will again try to show you that whenever i press it it's saying that enrollment was not completed so yes guys uh, fpc sensors will work but goodix fingerprint sensors uh, like one in my in my case it's not working anyways uh coming back from here well uh, once more well yes it is a bug that you have to uh, you know keep in mind so now check the volte e calling so here it is And let's just call. So yeah guys, Volte calls does work without any issue. And uh, I would say I haven't faced any issue with Volte calls right now. Still now I've been using this ROM for quite a long time. And the cameras work perfectly. But let me again show you that. Well, well let is the image. Uh, in the previous build maybe uh, there was some issue uh, the camera was not uh, has some force close issue but this rom there is all in this rom actually all the things are fixed even the video works without any hassle i'm not talking about quality the quality will be uh, as you can expect from a uh, redmi 3s or 3s prime but yes the uh, the software actually the app actually works without any hassle and you can see the video works fine so coming back from here on I will try to now install the uh, exposed framework so for that uh, we have to do a few more stuff so let me show you that right now well guys uh, we have to enable the advanced reboot 
from going to developer section and then we have to reboot it and go to the recovery mode in the reboot section well a lot of people were facing some issues while rebooting to recovery they were facing that the while rebooting to recovery the the recovery was not opening up the phone was rebooting by itself so yeah that may happen and for that i have posted a fix link in the description for a video and do check that video you will get all the necessary stuff from there so we have to uh, flash the exposed cm zip and yes all the links are in the description below the rom thread will be also in the description below so make sure you go to the developers website tell them what your problems are and they will come up with a good build so we have to flash the exposed installer and uh, it's not like a bit of our time it takes time so after that let's check whether exposed is active or not so that's a very big thing to look for here it is and yes i'm careful you all are careful and yes exposed framework does work yes that's a pretty good thing anyways guys do like our video if you want do dislike if you think we still suck do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and for other videos do check the description section there are more till then bye people have a great day hope to see my next video